Hey. Okay. Okay. Wow, what a great night. Uh, great, great night for a, a night practice. Weather was perfect. And, you know, one of our biggest crowds we've had, I think, in the, this being our fifth year here. So a lot of energy. The players were feeding off that. Was, we got a lot done. I'm really happy with the way we're practicing, the speed, the tempo. Um, you know, always things to clean up, but making good progress to, uh, for the start of camp. Frank was saying, again, Frank uh, Paris was saying that, like, Matt going over the middle and some of those overs and digs and stuff like that, it feels like that's Matt's bread and butter and his bread and butter. Is that is that a good just mesh of skills for Paris and Matt? It is. Um, you know, Matt just has a lot of confidence throwing the ball over the middle. He's just done that his whole career. Um, so, and, and Paris feels comfortable in there too. A lot of his college stuff was inside there. Um, he's continued to develop. I think those two have a good chemistry. I think Matt's working hard with all the receivers, but uh, Paris has certainly been shining. Did you finish early again or uh, Pardon? on time? Early again? Um, a little bit early, about five minutes early. Okay. Do you have any conversations with Paris entering this season that were any different than the previous ones? I, I mean, I know at some point it's just like, You know, just our belief in him, you know, just reiterating our belief and confidence in him, you know, the, the stuff he's had has been kind of freakish. So, you know, just come out there with confidence, you know. And it's, it's a long season, and just take it from a positive approach. And we're behind you and we give you everything you need, but you got to go earn it. You know, he's got to earn it, and he knows that. But, you, but you've seen in, in OTAs and this what he brings to the camera the offense. Yeah, I mean, he's got speed, he's strong with the ball. Um, you know, every time he touches, he's a great boy threat. I mean, he's got that legit speed. But Paris also real smart. Um, so I think it's a good combination. We've talked about this in our receiver room in the last couple of days. They're going to be unselfish. They're going to spread the ball around. They're all going to get their shots, um, and they're going to earn their reps. Paris is doing a good job so far. Frank, Paris hasn't played a lot, obviously. But have you been able to see the growth in spite of that? Because, you know, when he came in, we kind of wondered, you know, was he the, the whole attack? Yeah, I mean, when he came in, it was kind of like, hey, he's the slot guy, does all the gadgety stuff. Um, you know, as Chris, when we drafted him, Chris and I from the start always had a vision for Paris doing it all. I don't want to say we were 100 sure. I was pretty confident that, that he could play inside and out. Right? He still has yet to prove that. But if he has all the skills, and when you look at the route trees from the slot and outside, he can run all the routes that he needs to in our offense. It's a good fit. So he just needs opportunities and, um, and build that confidence. Breaking up there on the bow like yeah, that, you know, he and, he and uh, Stefan had that collision, you know, Steph got up in his spine, finished practice. Uh, you know, Ma was a little, tweaked his knee a little bit, but I don't think it's anything serious. We just kind of held him out just to be safe. Uh, he's a piece. I mean, I've seen the same thing I've seen last year. You know, a bunch of balls didn't go to him today, but as we've been working, he just, you know, we feed off of his energy, you know, I feel even uh, more leadership from him um, in every way, in that room, on the field, off the field. Um, what we love about Pitt is just the ultimate competitor, and I think our offense and our team feed off of that. We feel his toughness, we feel his competitiveness, and for us to continue to grow as a team, but that's the kind of thing that we need to build on. Any high points that one on the sideline, that's kind of like what he does in the green. Yeah. That's exactly what he does, and and then the other thing he does, he does, well, he does a lot of things. He does that. He's he's physical in the run game, right? and we love to throw him those shallow routes and those crossing routes and putting his hands in the run with him because he gets fine when he's got the ball in chance. We see a lot of guys kind of slipping a little bit. Is there anything? Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the field's still a little damp. You know, I mean, from that, that rain that we had. So the, you know, you guys saw the other day it was pretty pretty slippery out here. I was hoping that it would be kind of back to normal, but it probably, probably just needs another day to get, fields are in great shape, but there was a lot of rain. I mean, it was, it was coming down hard up here. And so it was good today, but it was still a little slippery. Ashton Dillon's had some nice catches so far. Do you feel like at this stage of his progression, this is kind of his opportunity to lock in the Gilmore receiver since he's kind of got the special teams part down there? Yeah, I cannot emphasize how strongly we feel about Ashton Dillon and that he's going to play a role in this offense. And um, he's proven it, he's earned it. He's gonna have to continue to prove it and continue to earn it. But you know, this guy, he's he's another one of these guys. He's the toughness that he has, he's smart, he can play, he plays all the positions, he knows what to do, he's a competitor, um, it's not too big for him. He's make he's a playmaker. Um, we love him. And so I'm, I'm planning on him making a contribution. We're, we're all planning on him making
make any significant contribution to, this, to, to not only special teams, but to the offense this year. Coach, you guys faced Flus in practice. A lot of their stuff is kind of looking at the page. Is that similar with Gus, or I guess what are... A little bit. You know, when Gus, when Gus is playing the, the Seattle three that he's famous for, you know, one of the guys who kind of originated and that group of guys that are originated. So there's times when they get an out, you know, we got to just got to check it down. But, um, and that's our primary thing on defense. So, you know, but then you, we look to try to create shots and Matt's going to experiment a little bit in practice and try to test it, you know, test it. we got to test certain things in training camp now. But we also still got to continue to be patient and get the ball in the front. Frank, when you talk about the, the practices running at this clip, I mean, you got to get that from the second team offense too. What, what impact has Nick Foles had on that? Yeah, I mean, he and Matt are a great pair. I mean, they're very different. But Nick is real, like, Matt is just all business. And, and um, you know, one thing is work. I mean, it's work, 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 work. You know, Nick is, he keeps things real simple. You know what I mean? Um, he just keeps things real simple. He doesn't want to overcomplicate it. He doesn't want a thousand million checks. You know, he just wants a handful of things and let me just go play ball. Let me feel it out. And so both of those lead to fast tempo. So the way those two guys are leading the offense is going to be exactly what we need. Coach, help okay, a couple um, more. Help and Reggie on the coaching staff so far. Reggie's been unbelievable. I cannot tell you how fast an adjustment he's made to kind of coaching life. Um, he's had an impact in that room already. You can see it. Um, a couple things technically that he brings to the table, the way he's teaching them to get in and out of breaks, I think. I see it. I saw it in OTAs. I feel like we've gotten better. And then I just think the air of confidence that Reggie has and that he's played and played at such a high level. So um, really looking forward to the guys feeding off of that as well. Nahim right, was, last one here. Naheem was excited about him and Jonathan getting to play together in the same formation. How much does having Matt kind of allow you to get even more creative with that and expand that, just with how he's used the running back over his step. Yeah, yeah. Very, very comfortable with it. Matt's very comfortable with it. He's very comfortable with Naheem. I think he and Naheem have worked a lot this offseason together. So we can utilize Naheem in a number of different ways where we line him up, like you said, go in the backfield, you know, with, you know, with JT or put him in anywhere in the formation and feel like there's going to be confidence there. Um, He's, as, as we've said all along, he's just a guy who's going to be involved in this offense. Um, he, he's magnetic when he has the ball in his hands. We feed off of his energy. Um, I continue to be excited about, you know, everybody talks about our skill, that we have enough quote-unquote skill in the positions. Um, but I just think I'm hoping to be surprised a lot of people with how it looks. Okay, thanks, guys. Got Michael Pittman.